Hey guys, well, um, we did get stuck in this Texas ice storm, albeit we're not right in the middle of where the ice is, but it has definitely affected us. If you didn't see my last video, you might wanna watch that one before this one, but if you haven't, I'll give you a quick little summary. I was supposed to meet my friend Danny down here. She has her own van as well. And we were actually supposed to go to South Padre Island. We were supposed to be doing beach camping, but instead we're doing Cracker Barrel camping or overnight parking if you want to look at it that way because we got caught up in that Texas ice storm that's happening north of us. So while we don't have the ice here, it's super, super cold and it is affecting us because we can't move north and we can't go to the beach because it's so cold and it's foggy and raining and well, this wasn't all supposed to happen and definitely was not in the cards for this week, down here at least in South Texas. And I wasn't able to find propane in Dallas or on the way down here. My van has been so cold. We've been camping out at this cafe, Corner Bakery here in Corpus Christi and well, that's where the video is gonna kind of start out. I'm warning you, we're a little slapstick silly in this one. <laughs> Scheduled for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, eight o'clock. Click on other people. <laughs> 10, 15, barging up with people's conversations. 11, 45, finish other people's sentences for them. <laughs> This is what happens when you've been sitting in the cafe all day long because it's freaking cold outside and we can't be in the van. You go stir crazy. We need content. Yeah, we need content. It's one of the things that I think about whenever weather goes crazy, all my plans go sideways. As a content creator, I still have to keep doing videos, so what do I do now? I pick on people, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just so you know, we're not really gonna pick on people. Okay, future Amber here who's editing this video. I just want you to know, <laughs> because we're slapstick silly, this is what happened at the cafe and we didn't really discuss it in that video clip, but there were all these people that were in the cafe and it's amazing how many people will let their phones ring and answer it on speaker and they talk really, really loud when they answer it. So you feel like you're in the conversation. So we were giggling to ourselves because, you know, we were kind of amongst ourselves, like answering the questions that the people on the phone were asking the person that was sitting in the bench next to us or across the room for us. So yes, it's silly. That was us picking on ourselves and, and, and getting ourselves into people's conversations. But at the time it was amusing and I don't know if it is now because there's so much noise from people doing things like this that uh, we just had to kind of start laughing at it. Real quick, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Fixed. It's going to save you so much money, so much headache, so much frustration, because you are gonna have all the information that you need to make sure that you are safe on the road. Whether you're part-time, full-time in an RV, or you just have a vehicle and you're stranded on the side of the road. If you're anything like how I was two months ago, I literally freaked out because my check engine light came on and I was scared. I was like, what am I gonna do now? I'm in the middle of nowhere and I don't know what is wrong. So this will give you the code as to what is wrong with your vehicle. It'll tell you why, how to get it repaired, what the possible solutions are, and it will actually tell you where a repair center is located near you. So the first thing you wanna do is connect this to your OBD2 connector. Download the fixed app to your iPhone or Android device. It's gonna scan your vehicle and see if there's anything wrong with it right then. In fact, your friends are going to love you for this because if you have one of these and there's something wrong with their vehicle, you're gonna save their day by popping this onto their OBD2 connector and scanning it and finding out what is wrong with their vehicle. So the great thing about this is you'll know exactly what the problem is and when you take it into your mechanic to get it fixed, you'll have have all of the information to know you're getting charged correctly and that they're actually fixing the thing that is really wrong with it. So that is going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of headache. When you have the right information, you can make better choices. You can track your mileage, your oil changes, your tires to really keep you in the know and making sure that your vehicle is in tip top condition. So make sure you click that link in the description box to get 67% off for a limited time only for your very own fixed device and stay safe on the road. Thank you so much Fix for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the show. Guys, it is freezing out here. I'm getting gas right now. Oh my God. It's like 37 degrees out. Uh, feels like 20 something. Oh my gosh. And it's like six something at night. Thankfully my jacket has these like semi gloves. Ooh. It makes it feel a little bit better. Ooh. Can you see the steam? <laughs> it's me breathing and it's so cold. Wait. 
Where are we going? We're going to Nalds. What the right f Right across the street, Nalds. 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 Oh, it's only lit up Nalds. Yeah. On here it comes in a much brighter. Nalds. <laughs> oh, you're really, you're really zoomed in. Great. <laughs> see, my, see my nostrils? <laughs> Look how zoomed in it is. <laughs> my pores. <laughs> We're officially, I've gone off the deep end, yeah. I swear. We have I not mean, been drinking. We've been we in have cafe. It. Yeah. This is This is being cold. We literally got to the cafe at what? 8.30. 8.30 and it's now 6.30, guys. <laughs> we just left. <laughs> we got a lot of work we done. That's good. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're a little bit goofy. You want to know something else that I do for, for van life, for the, for the video, being a content creator? It's colder than heck outside, as I've said, but I had to turn the heat off so that we're both freezing inside of here so that we could film and have good audio. It's all for the content. It's all for the content. <laughs> this is what is for dinner tonight. If I can get the hot dog bun open. Oh my God, are they frozen shut? Okay, this is really weird, it won't open. Literally, oh my gosh. Oh, that amber, they open from the top. <laughs> Ugh, it's been a day, guys. It's been a day. Then I'm going to have a cheddar bratwurst. Looks to be slightly frozen. Wow. I'm really reaching today. This is kind of crazy. We're going to put some mustard on it. And that is what is for dinner. Apparently a frozen hot dog. Okay. That might be a little bit too frozen. <laughs> what am I gonna do? That's in the fridge, I can't believe it's frozen. I didn't explain this earlier or really in the last video, but I tried to get propane when I was in Dallas. I went to five different propane places. They didn't have propane. The last one, they couldn't fill it. They said something was wrong with my tank. Not 100% sure that that's true, but something's definitely off. They couldn't get propane in it. So I have no heat because of it. Now my heat can work off of electricity and it can work off of propane. I don't have enough energy in my batteries to run the furnace all night long on electric. So I just do nothing. And I don't usually run my furnace anyways at night because I stay really comfortable under the blankets. They're very warm and stuff, so I don't, I don't really need it. But right now, like, well, it's chilly in here. I'd say it's probably close to like 45, 50 degrees at least. Floors are super cold, so I have socks on. I'm probably gonna jump in bed and watch a movie in a minute and stay all nice and covered up after I ate my frozen hot dog. The other problem is the water. I put water in the tank and I turned on the faucets to run the water as I was putting water in the tank and make sure everything was working after we had that last freeze in Dallas, which I winterized the gray tank with the pink stuff, antifreeze, but I did not put it in the freshwater tank. I just got all the water out of the lines as much as I possibly could, which has always worked for me in the past. Apparently it didn't work this time because guess what? There's rushing water in the bottom of the, like under the sink. I gotta figure that out when I get home. So what I'm doing for that is I bought a bunch of water. I'm using this, I put this little Rubbermaid thing in the sink. So if I have to like wash a few dishes, I get my water out of my Berkey and I wash dishes in there and then I just dump the water outside. So that way it's not going down the tank. I still have the gray water tank winterized. And then I have drinking water because I bought a bunch of fresh water actually from the store and I just stick that in my Berkey because it's easier to use. So that's what I'm doing for water. So it's very simplistic, but not ideal right now <laughs> with this cold weather. And if you remember in last week's video, I was supposed to be on South Padre Island where it was 70 something degrees and no rain. And all that weather changed too. It's now cold, just like it is here. A little bit warmer than it is here, but it's still cold. So I wasn't prepared for this at all. I, the, this weather was not supposed to be down south at all, but you know, I probably should have known. I probably should have prepared a little bit better, but hindsight is 2020. I was like, oh yay, I'm getting out of the cold weather and, and going to warmer weather. So we're hunkered down here in Corpus Christi until the weather passes north of us. Uh, today is Tuesday. It's not supposed to let up until Thursday. So we're here at least until Thursday, at least, unless the weather changes again, we'll see. Guys, I am going to bed. It's uh, still early, but I'm gonna sit here and watch a movie, but I'm like curled up with all of my, my jacket on, my hoodie on, and pant, sweatpants, and um, I'm just gonna go to bed like this, and then as I get warm, I'll shed some layers, which is what will normally happen, because my bedding's really warm. This is my bedding that I have. So I have a sheet, 
this blanket and I have two of these blankets that I got from REI that are rated for cold weather and they're surprisingly very warm so I have two of them on here. Well good morning there. Uh, I'm just kind of waking up. Uh, I had to get dressed really quickly. It was so cold in here last night that I was just like, I'm gonna go get a hotel room. It was so crazy. I actually put my, I went to bed with a t-shirt on. I put my hoodie on. I had yoga pants and then I had my puffy jacket on to go to sleep because it was so cold. I woke up this morning and it said it was 33 degrees and feels like 17. I'm gonna try another place today and see if I can find a place that has propane. The way that I heat up the van is I just hit my remote <laughs> to start the van and I already have the temperature set to hot and on high. And it actually heats the van up pretty fast, but it doesn't stay, it's not constant, but it's warm enough right now, like I don't even have a, a jacket on, so. All right, um, we are headed out to Planet Fitness to go get a shower. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. By the way, look, there's a palm tree. <laughs> it's not warm enough for palm trees though. I'm gonna go take a shower now. But first, I found the hydro massage before we take a shower. <laughs> Holy cow, this is so good. And that's gonna help my back. Oh, it's already feeling better. The shower's done, feels so much better. And I'm back in the corner bakery. Just waiting for Danny to come in, but I ordered, they have an avocado egg power bowl. Of course, coffee, it's hot. <laughs> it feels so good on a cold, cold morning. Good news is I found a place that has propane, but bad news is the guy doesn't get there until noon to fill up. Well, it's never a dull moment. All the lights just went out here. <laughs> the cafe that we're trying to stay warm in, which means no heat, uh, no electricity, no power. No power. I was just about to pack up actually, because I'm going to go get propane. So Danny, I don't know, what are you doing? I'll probably head, here. To, head to Cracker Barrel. I'll stay in the van. It's quite interesting everything that's been happening. This is getting to be insane, seriously. So now I'm here at the U-Haul. I called ahead. They said, yep, someone will be here at 12 to fill up uh, propane that's certified. I get here and he's like, oh no, we're not certified to do RVs, even though I asked that question this morning. So now this is my sixth place, and he said two of their other places actually do, so now I'm gonna call them and see if they actually do it. Finally, guys, we have propane. He was able to do it so easily. It was not my tank. If you were ever in Corpus Christi, come over to Buster's Propane. Get you some propane. They're amazing here. Oh my God, it's so cold. It's very cold. Yeah. Oh my God, I have never been so excited to have propane. It's gonna be warm in here and toasty tonight. I actually asked him if I could give him a hug. I was so excited. <laughs> he said yes. Well, there's the water that we will not be getting into. We have downtown Corpus Christi over here. Nice little pier. It's a bit cloudy today, guys. A little foggy, but we're just gonna make do with it. I think this is the park we're going to right here. We're here at the pier. I've got my puffy, two puffy coats on and I have no hat, nothing. I swear this is the only problem with like not having all my stuff with me anymore. In the van is, I feel like a little bit of fish out of water. I don't have all my stuff. You know, like a hat and gloves, nothing. It's pretty chilly, guys. Look at girl over here bundled up. She's from Vermont. For, I know, Rumble. and I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty, like, you can tell that the water, if it was like sunny, mm -hmm. it would be really green and blue right here, yeah. which is actually quite interesting for the Gulf Coast. Because mm -hmm. usually here, the Gulf of Mexico near Texas, it's usually dark. Yeah. Very pretty. Ooh, there's the van. So the boat we're seeing up here, Danny pointed out, is called the USS Lexington. Let me get a little bit closer to it. Okay, so we're at the docks. Docks, parking lot. It looks like a dock right here. Um, it's just hard to tell. The real size of this. Let me zoom in. Check this thing out that just started coming into our path as I'm taking photos of the USS Lexington. Gosh, that thing is ginormous. Velos Aquarius. I wonder what that ship is for. Some kind of a cargo ship. 
for sure. Yeah, you can actually see the crane on it right there. Oh my goodness, here comes another ship. It's like flat on top. That thing is seriously long, but it's still going. Oh my gosh, look what we found, guys. Pho. Yum. To warm us up. Uh-huh. This is my favorite meal, like really ever. So I got the raw steak. They put in it cooks in the broth. We've never had it. And it's just yummy. It's a Vietnamese soup. Good morning, friends. I'm here at the Corner Bakery again. <laughs> Corner Bakery's getting lots of love on this trip. It's Thursday morning in Corpus Christi. We checked the weather as you can see it's still kind of bleak and almost rainy here i'd like to move to san antonio today if possible just to get some more miles on the road to get back to dallas but we might have to wait till this afternoon they're still getting a little bit of freezing rain um i think last night and it's supposed to warm so we'll just let it warm up and hopefully melt off and then move that way well it's time for lunch and just so you know while we're here at this cafe we're definitely partaking of their breakfast and their lunch and stuff because we're taking up a table and they've been so gracious they've been really nice about saying that we could stay here and work especially because it's so cold out and we didn't want to be in our van it's always nice to do that if you're going to stay at a place for any length of time to you know help out the restaurants even though you don't have to they're going to allow you to stay over here anyways but it's a nice thing to do well finally i'm leaving corpus christi it's thursday afternoon about 1 11. temperature here is 44. looks like san antonio is going to be clear i looked at some webcams as well which is always really important when you're looking at weather especially for stuff like this to make sure the roads are clear it's 46 degrees outside and the roads are looking really good all right we're into the san antonio area and all looks good here besides some of the sand that i'm seeing on the overpasses you wouldn't know that there was a huge ice storm here just yesterday or days ago so these trees they all have tree branches down like lots of them on the side of the road there I'm assuming because they had ice on them and it just broke the branches off but I decided to move on to San Marcos, so I'm still driving a little bit. But you can see more of the effects here for sure. Well, we are safe and sound over here in Cracker Barrel, just south of the Austin, Texas area. And it's still chilly here. I'm still trying to figure out if I can get to Dallas tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to after talking to my sister and looking at the weather. It may be two more days before I can get back there. This is crazy. This Texas ice storm has been happening like all week long. I'm just kind of itching to get back in there and get in my own warm bed at the house and not have to worry about the temperatures in here and the icy conditions and all of that. I know this has been a weird video and not at all what we thought was going to happen. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Also remember, if you want to stay safe on the road, make sure you click the link below to get your fixed OBD2 connector to your vehicle, van, RV, and stay safe. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you, well, in the next video. Hopefully I'm in Dallas by then. Bye, guys.